Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design elevated concrete slabs in RAM concept. At this point in our workflow, we've already performed our preliminary calculation and we're reviewing our analysis results. Specifically for this video, we're going to take a look at our load combination plots and try to understand the information that is being reported on each of those layers. The first thing I'm going to do is take a look at my load combination criteria, which is found in the criteria menu bar item. Now you're going to notice that each load combination has a combination type and an analysis type associated with it. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with this table to better understand how this information is used by the program. Now that we've reviewed the load combination information, let's take a look at the plots that are available through the load combination layers. To access that information, let's select the layers menu bar item. We're going to go to load combinations, and then we're gonna select any of the load combinations you might be interested in. For me, for this video, I'm going to select the service load combination of dead load plus live load and you're gonna see that I have a top and bottom stress plan available in each of the global horizontal axis locations. Let's go ahead and select the bottom X stress plan. Now here I should be able to see the contour plots of the bottom X stress plan on my screen. Now you can go ahead and customize each of the plots per your visual preferences. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this from a line contour to a color contour. To do that, I can select the plot icon in the standard toolbar, and you can see here I have a variety of different options that I can choose to display, and I'm going to change the option from contour to color contour. We'll go ahead and review the rest of the information, and then we can click OK. Now here I'll be able to see a color contour of the stress at the bottom of the slab in the global X direction. In addition to being able to customize the view of your contour, you're also able to tell the program whether or not you wanna see the standard, the minimum, or maximum contour plan. To do that, let's go ahead and return to the plot icon and take a look at the context field. Now in RAM concept, as we just discussed, each load combination is assigned a combination type and an analysis type. You're gonna notice that the maximum and minimum values for each variable will be used to calculate the enveloped stress value at the top, center, and bottom of the slab. Go ahead and familiarize yourself with this table, which is also available in the help menu to get a better understanding about what you're looking at depending upon the combination type and analysis type of the currently selected load combination. Now at this point, this concludes our process for reviewing the load combination plots that are available after an analysis is performed. Hopefully by watching this video, you get a better understanding about what types of stresses you're seeing through the load combination plots on your screen. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.